Good day to you. This is William here at Rivershore, just doing a very brief introduction to our services, the professional and academic routes to becoming MCIOB. So uh, let's consider what we have to do. Well, briefly, we will run through at the end of this, you'll have an understanding of how to complete your application and writing style, be able to identify any learning needs, and if necessary, be able to access some guidance and support to meet those. Always give yourself and your studies the respect and the time they deserve. And uh, that way you will achieve easier. Others have followed the route that you're just about to embark upon, many others. And we've been profiling and working with uh, academic and non-academic candidates for the past 15 years in assisting them to achieve academic and professional qualifications. So what we aim to do is the following to pass on an understanding of what is required and to commence and complete your application with confidence and be able for you to present a quality application at first attempt, having removed the stress and any questions or misunderstandings, and therefore to complete your application in a timely manner, confidently. To do that, we have to review the style of application, writing style, the content, report planning, production, and having done all that, we'll look at some of the guidance and support um, that we provide at Rivershore. One of the things we provide is a, an in-depth video uh, with a PowerPoint presentation on all of the reports. And this is just an introduction to the services that we provide. So what is the standard of the application? It's a degree level application written at a professional level. Two things there, degree means um, you can convey and write well, convey a lot of information in the correct writing style, succinctly written to a limited word count. If you've not done that before, we can help. What is a professional application? A professional application is one of those applications. It's to do with where you sit in the hierarchy within a company. We have managers and above managers, we have those who are working at a professional level. Managers work within practices and procedures, Whereas professionals, they resolve the issues that managers are not in a position to resolve. And they do that with reflection and changing practices and procedures, dealing with issues and moving companies and the industry forward. So briefly, what we're looking for are those types of examples in your reports. It's, as I've said, it's a profiling exercise. So it has to do with historical, examples it's no good citing what you've done on your cv we want specific examples and we don't need job descriptions written in reports what we need is specific specific examples that apply to the report brief and in our guidance notes we unpack the report brief and give some examples or typical examples or give direction to the type of examples that should be relayed in each report therefore it's written in the first person i me or my and has to do with your involvement in either dealing with the whole of the issue or your involvement in dealing with that part of the issue in accordance with your job role and um, position at work, what you do at work. So it's a professional self-profiling, demonstrating what you've achieved and what you know, specifically to meet the report briefs in each of the 14 sections. So I mentioned report brief is different they're all different. Some require are more suited to one and some report briefs say give examples where two or three. So we analyze that in our guidance and give direction on how many examples you should be presenting in each of your reports. And choose your examples carefully. You want to shine and you want to be seen to be operating at a professional level. How do you write your reports? Well, you have to make you have to build a plan. So for each example, CIOB, advocate Carl. So in your examples, C stands state, for, state the circumstances and the reasons why you needed to act in that particular subject matter. Could be health and safety, communicating, management, planning, ethics. So paint the picture, set the circumstances. A, what are the actions you took? And R, what were the results? And what didn't work first time? That's most important because it's not expected that you achieve 100% the 
that first attempt. That's unrealistic. The industry revolves through reflection, adaptation, and moving on and consideration. We want to see that type of thinking, that type of analysis in the results. And the L stands for learning. What have you learned moving forward for yourself, your company, and the industry, if anything, in that particular example? So now you've got your, your car, your plan. How do you produce a report? Stick to the plan. When you think about wandering away from the plan, don't. Stick to the plan. And then dump all of your ideas in bullet points into each of the sections of the car plan. And then review the bullet points in each section to make sure that's the order within each section that you wish to deliver your story. So now we're talking story. And then what one does now is one joins the dots together. That is, one writes up the bullet points in each section and you've produced a narrative account. But then you realise that you have used far too many words because you've got a narrative account rather than a report. And you come to three, E, P, D, E, plan, dump, edit. And then you remove any unnecessary narrative from the report to reduce your word count. And when you reduce any unnecessary words, what that auto or any unnecessary descriptions, what that does, that turns a narrative account into a report, a succinct report. Now to the guidance and, and support we give at Rivershaw, we provide guidance notes for each reports. So this is a guidance video. We do interactive guidance, Zoom meetings, individual report reviews, either just online or with Zoom or just by reviewing and give a report on your report. And we also do application guidance reviews. We provide interactive work pads for our candidates and liter literacy support. I should want to say that properly, literacy support for candidates whose language may, first language may not be English or they may never have had a reason or an opportunity to write and to present a written document at degree level before. We've been doing this now for oh, 15 years or so, uh, helping level seven, level six candidates complete their MVQs and providing guidance for uh, CIO IOB applicants for many years also. So this is what we do. We are a guidance and support. We help non-academics and academics to achieve academic qualifications and recognition. We unpack what is required into terms that anybody can understand so they can deliver confidently an application at the required level. See what happens. Copy the link, have a look, and see what some of our past candidates have said about us.